G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. I'm Graham Henderson and we're currently up to video number seven in our Subtraction Fest series, learning different ways in which people have performed subtractions. This method I'm going to show now I have never seen in a book and I've only ever seen one person use. It was a young boy who didn't understand subtraction in primary school, couldn't understand what the teacher was saying and worked this method out for himself and I'd like to share it with you. I shared it in the longer videos, there are a couple that I produced that are over 20 minutes each, where I explain the process, but here I'm just going to demonstrate it. The great beauty of this is that you never ever subtract any number larger than 10, or from a number larger than 10. So, the method involves this. If there's a number bigger than on the bottom than on the top, the number next to it is reduced by 1. We cast along here, the number next to it is reduced by 1. Here, that's 9 is bigger than 2. Oh, sorry, 8 is bigger than 6, so we reduce this by 1. 9 is bigger than 1, so we reduce this by 1. 7 is bigger than 5, so we reduce this by 1. 1 is bigger than 0, so we reduce this by 1. So far it looks similar to a borrowing system. And in fact, that, that's what the, his teacher was trying to teach him. But here's what he came up with. When the number is bigger on the bottom, you find the difference and subtract it from 10. How far are 6 and 3 apart? They're 3. The difference is 3. 3 from 10 is 7. 5 from 7 we can do. 3 from 4 we can do. 4 from 0 we can't do. What's the difference? The difference is 4. That is, we subtract in reverse order. 4 take away 0 is 4. And we take 4 from 10. This one, six from eight, 8 from 6 we can't do, so the difference is 2, and we take it from 10. 10 take away 2. 9 is larger than 1, the difference is 8, so we subtract 8 from 10. 7 is larger than 5, but the difference is 2, and we subtract that from 10. 1 is larger than 0, but they're 1 apart, and we subtract 1 from 10. And 4 minus 2 we can do. And there's the solution using his method. It's an unusual method. But I thought I'd share it with you because I thought it had some strange merit in that you never had to subtract a number from anything larger than 10. And that was this ingenious boy's way of working out the solution for himself. I hope you enjoyed it. Perhaps you might like to try it out. I wouldn't recommend using this as your major method, but it's up to you. And I thank you for watching.